Welcome to Cupboard Crafts and Experiments, brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. Today, we're going to make egg carton catapults. A catapult is a great way to experiment with propulsion, which is the act of moving or pushing an object forward. So what will you need for a catapult? You'll need an egg carton, some scrap paper, scissor, you'll need a plastic spoon, seven rubber bands, and some kind of tape. I have masking, painting, scotch tapes here. You can have just one of these. And then also cotton balls or pom-poms or something light enough to propel. And then some various containers for a game we'll do later. All right, how to get started. You'll need your parent for this part because cutting an egg carton in half can be a little challenging. You're just gonna go right in the middle, six on one side, six on the other, if it's a dozen. And you're gonna make your way across there all the way to the end. All right, so now we have a half of an egg carton. First thing you're gonna do with your half of egg carton is you're going to stuff it with the scrap paper right in the sections where the eggs would be. Okay, all stuffed and ready to go. I'm gonna close it. And to make this more secure, I'm going to just immediately put two rubber bands around it. You may need help with some of these rubber bands. Okay, now we're ready for the next part. Now for our spoon. We're going to put a piece of tape on the front of the spoon, but before we attach it to the back, we're gonna place a rubber band right in here so that the tape goes over the rubber band, kind of captures it. All right, before I go to the back of the spoon, you can secure it with another piece of tape. Make sure that tape is all nice and stuck together. Going back to our base here, we're going to wrap two rubber bands around the bottom, just underneath this lip here. And just to secure it some more, those rubber bands are running horizontally. Okay, so now to place our spoon on here, we're going to tuck underneath those horizontal rubber bands. Make sure the spoon scoop part is facing that way. And then you're gonna wrap that rubber band that's on that spoon all the way to the back. See how I did that? So now I wrapped it all the way around. I'm also going to add a couple more rubber bands, maybe up toward the front a little more. And that's your catapult. So let's just give it a whirl. You place your mini marshmallow, your cotton ball, or your pom-pom in this part, and you fling it. Now, let's see about a game we can play with our catapults. Okay, well, let's play our game. I'm putting my clean containers on my stairs here. I have all different sizes. Now you can apply points to each container. And so what you're gonna do is take turns catapulting your cotton balls or pom-poms. See if you can get it into the container. Ooh, so close. All right, 
like. And that's how you play the catapult game. Join us next time for Covered Crafts and Experiments.